According to the National Safety Council, losses from unintentional worker injuries cost the U.S. economy over $650 billion in 2006. Wage and productivity losses accounted for a whopping $330 billion of the total. And that doesn't include potential long-term disabilities, litigation costs, and other losses associated with downstream liabilities. It's a huge problem that put into perspective is equivalent to 62% of the total revenue the government collects in personal income taxes each year, or 52% of the total cost of feeding the entire population of the United States. There were 110 million workers employed in the private sector in 2005. Of that number, there were unfortunately 118,000 deaths from job-related causes, with an additional 1.2 million reported non-fatal accidents, of which over 18,000 involved lost time injuries due to chemical-related trauma, and almost 35,000 were due to injuries to the eyes. These figures do not include federal, state, and local government employees, or the self-employed. As a result of the increased focus on safety and first response brought about by these statistics, providing adequate safety showers and eye washes to mitigate the effects of an in-plant accident is of paramount importance. Accordingly, ANSI and OSHA work with employers to provide and enforce guidelines for safe operations and procedures to follow in the event of an incident. Interestingly, the emergency shower and eye wash industry has been in existence with sporadic efforts since the 1930s, with contemporary steady stream configurations generally coming online during the 1950s. Urban legend has it that the first steady stream eye wash was devised by an industrial plant manager. He was so concerned about his employees' welfare that he adapted the use of two drinking fountain bubbler heads and valves mounted on opposing sides of a sink. When activated, the streams formed a double arch that aimed water from the outer perimeter of the sink to the center. An injured victim would place their face into the double streams and irrigate both eyes simultaneously. It was a great concept, and one that took the safety industry to a new level over the ensuing 50-plus years. Except for one thing. Irrigating with streams that contact the eye at its outer canthus or corner and flow inward toward the nose is diametrically opposed to the way healthcare professionals irrigate eyes. And for good reason. Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Wolf. In order to understand the logic behind how we treat eye contamination situations, you first should understand the eye's lacrimal system. The human eye is equipped with an automatic lubricating and cleansing mechanism called the lacrimal system. It consists of the lacrimal gland, which produces tears that bathe the surface of the eye, and the lacrimal puncta, which are drains that channel excess fluids from the ocular surface. Importantly, the lacrimal puncta drain excess fluids directly into the nasal cavity. This process is one of the reasons your nose runs when you cry. While it is not specifically part of the lacrimal system, the eyelid also plays a key role. As we blink, the eyelid wipes the cornea, pushing contaminants and excess fluids toward the lacrimal puncta, or the ocular surface's drains. If, for example, a chemical is introduced into the eye, nature's own cleansing mechanism can serve to force the contaminant into the nasal cavity, where it can then be breathed into the lungs or swallowed. Obviously, we'd rather avoid such a circumstance. For this reason, the medical profession teaches and practices irrigating eyes by introducing the flushing fluid at the inner corner of the eye adjacent to the nose and letting it run across the eye to the outer edge. In effect, we irrigate by moving the fluid away from the lacrimal puncta. This is opposite the flow direction of traditional plumbed and eye wash products. Pushing contaminants toward the nose not only risks introducing them into the nasal cavity, but also can allow the same contaminant to injure the other eye. To address this situation, the Haas Corporation is proud to introduce the first and only eye wash and eye face wash head that is specifically designed to operate in concert with the natural function of the human eye. And not coincidentally, in complete harmony with accepted healthcare protocols. The Axion MSR features several proprietary design elements that make it the obvious choice among medical practitioners. Incidentally, the MSR in the Axion MSR name stands for Medically Superior Response. And it is. First, 
Axion MSR's eyewash streams are inverted versus the traditional eyewash. Streams contact the eyes at the inner canthus or corner, adjacent to the bridge of the nose. Contaminants are swept to the outer edge of the eye, where gravity takes over, running them into the eyewash bowl. Another first for Axion MSR is the use of laminar flow engineering in the eyewash streams. In its simplest description, a laminar flow is one in which there is an absence of turbulence because the stream is built in layers. As the marketplace leader in commercial drinking fountains, Hawes has a long history of engineering laminar flow products. This, however, is the first time laminar technology has been applied to emergency eyewashes. The result? An even, comfortable, predictable stream height and circumference. Next, because the Axion MSR streams are almost vertically oriented, we were able to engineer the design to allow them to, in effect, stall at the prescribed height. In engineering terms, when the stream exhausts its vertical velocity, it softly turns outward and begins to fall off horizontally. This action causes a slight puddling of the flow in mid-air before it returns to the eyewash bowl. That stalling, puddling, and soft horizontal flow occur directly at the optimal contact point with the eye making for a more pleasant and effective irrigation experience. And this entire action minimizes the possibility of contamination entering the lacrimal puncta. Specifiers and buyers will also appreciate the flexibility built into Axion MSR products. Every model can be field configured to be either an eye wash or an eye and face wash by simply changing out the top cover of the head and its flow control. Change-out components are included at no extra charge. Rounding out the major features of the new Axion MSR eye wash and eye face wash heads, all Axion heads are antimicrobially treated using the natural protection of silver. Impregnating these components with silver helps protect the heads against the growth of mold and mildew on the treated components. Axion MSR is the only eye wash product on the market to feature antimicrobial protection. Axion MSR, the latest word in eyewash design and a definite best practice with respect to harmonizing implant emergency response efforts with downstream medical protocols. Axion MSR Drench Shower products also advance the state of the art. Similar to the circumstance with eyewash designs, showers have seen only modest advances over the past decades. A shower takes the water supplied and diverts it into a number of streams. However, the physical dynamics of water movement dictate that a traditional shower will apply more of the water pushed through it to the outer rim of the shower's hood or bell, making the distribution uneven within its entire footprint. The Hawes engineering team took advantage of the Axion MSR announcement to advance shower design as well. The new Axion MSR drench shower nozzle uses the latest in hydrodynamic design principles to spin inlet water and break it up into smaller, discrete droplets. This spinning and atomization action also mitigates the strong physical pressures driving water to the outer rim of the fixture, making the distribution equal across the entire footprint of the flow. Comparing the new Axion MSR shower flow to a current design gives a good visual perspective of the difference. Here, we see a current design shower flow colored to better depict dispersion. And here we see the new Axion MSR shower flow, also colored. When the two are overlaid, the more even dispersion of the Axion is readily apparent. Axion MSR offers better coverage with a soft as rain showering experience. Finally, Axion MSR eye wash or eye and face wash and shower heads are compatible with most existing Haws installations and can be obtained as service replacement parts. So, upgrading is a snap. I'm delighted to see this collaboration between industry and the medical community. You can probably continue to get by using old style eye washes, but why would you now that a better alternative is available? Axion MSR, a medically superior response.